Hey guys, it's Amanda Wold, Group Fitness Instructor, Independent Team Beach Body Coach, and Area Promotions Director and Presenter for Powder Blue Productions. Many of you have been asking me about how to handle self-esteem issues and criticism as you enter into your profession in the fitness industry, whether it's as a group fitness instructor or something else. And so I'm going to speak to that a little bit today. I think, actually, I just had a webinar on this last night. It was a book that I read probably about three years ago is when I read it for the first time. And since then, I've reread it at least once every year. So I guess that's at least three or four times that I've read the book and some of its companion books and additions to the book. So what's the book? The book is The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. And it's very simple. Basically, it's based on the fact that there are four agreements that you should be impeccable with your word, don't make assumptions, don't take anything personally, and always do your best. And if we could make those the agreements that we have in our life, that we would be much more successful, much more positive and happy, because we would be letting go of some of the other agreements. How many times in your life have you made an assumption that someone was thinking this or someone was doing this because they didn't like the way you did this only to find out later it had absolutely nothing to do with you and only to do with them? That one's really, really important. Don't make assumptions. So how does that relate to you and your fitness career? Well, if you're a group fitness instructor, one of the biggest piece of, pieces of advice I always give new instructors is don't assume that someone's leaving your class because you suck. <laughs> assume that they're leaving... I mean, first of all, you don't have to assume anything. Just let them leave. But if you have to assume something, assume that they're leaving because their time is up in the child care center. Because they just remembered they have a doctor's appointment they have to be at because they're just having a really bad day and no matter how amazing your class is, they're just not in the mood to be there. And the, the assumption here on that part kind of goes along with don't take it personally. That's one of the other agreements. Don't take it personally. You guys, if I would have quit because people left my class, I would not be here today. Every great instructor, every fantastic instructor has people leave their class every single time they teach. We do. And just so what? So what? That person doesn't like me. That person doesn't like the class. They don't like the music. They have somewhere else they need to be. They just remembered they needed to change their child's diaper. Who knows why they leave? But that can't affect me. I can only do my best. And if I've done my best, I can't take it personally. Chances are it doesn't have anything to do with me anyway. So doing our best. Doing our best is another one of the ag agreements that we have. If we are always doing our best, we have no regrets, nothing to apologize for. And there are days when my best is different. If I wake up and I think I have strep throat and I have a fever of, you know, 100 degrees and I can't find a sub and I go and teach class, I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there, I'm going to do my best. But do you think my best on that day is going to be the same as the, my best on a day when I've had, uh, I've had a cup of coffee, I've had my Shakeology, I've had time to get dressed and feel good and put on makeup and then go to class and teach? My best on those two days is not going to be the same. But if I do my best given that situation, at the end of the day, there's nothing else I can do. At least I know I did my best, right? The last thing, the last agreement that as it relates to a fitness industry is being impeccable with your word. And that's not only your word to other people because our words do have a lot of power. Think of maybe that person that gave you an encouraging word and got you to begin your career in the fitness industry. How powerful was that? When that person first put in your mind that you could be a teacher, that you could do this too. And on the other end, I've had some people say that someone's discouraged them. And maybe that wasn't their intention, 
but they said, well, you know, you're not a dancer, so why would you teach? Why would you teach a dance class? You don't have a dance background. Your words are very, very powerful. And if your words can do that to someone else, think of how powerful your words are when you speak to yourself. So when it comes to your self-esteem, we must change the way we speak to ourselves. Think about the I am statements that you say to yourself every day. I am fat. I have fat thighs. I have lazy legs. I have crazy frizzy hair. I, have, I am cross-eyed. I don't know. I don't know what your I am statements are. But think of if we changed those to I have fantastically unique hair. I have strong thighs. I have powerful legs. I am getting leaner. I am getting stronger. How much more powerful and positive are those I am statements than the ones we previously said? So be impeccable with your word. Be kind to yourself. If you can be kind to yourself, you're not going to take anything personally. You're going to be stronger at not making assumptions and you're gonna do your best. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be happier. You're gonna be able to share that positive energy and joy with the people around you, whether they're your students, your family, your coworkers, your fellow instructors. Um, anybody you meet is gonna feel that infectious positive energy. So if you haven't read it yet, please, it's a very, very short book. I wanna say it's 120 pages or less. Don Miguel Ruiz is the author. The name of the book is The Four Agreements. I highly recommend it. If you liked what I had to say in the video, you'll love the book. Please, please, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would, please, and like my page on Facebook. Search Amanda Wold, look for the public figure, and click like. I thank y'all so much for watching the video, and I hope you have a fantastic day.